Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Gotch SEO if you're watching this on my website. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to optimize your anchor text using Ahrefs. And so Ahrefs is a very, very powerful tool for not only analyzing your anchor text, but also developing a strategy on how you're going to optimize your anchor text for any keyword that you're targeting. So in this video that you're gonna be watching, I'm gonna show you how I would go about optimizing my anchor text for a specific keyword phrase. And so I'm super excited to show you this, so let's jump right in. All right, so now I am inside Ahrefs, and what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can optimize your anchor text based on what your competitors are doing. I do not personally like copying my competitor's anchor text, but it is a good idea to analyze the competitors and get averages so that you can find what the ceiling is for anchor text. So if the average exact match anchor text, which is really what we want to focus on when we're analyzing our competitors anchor text, because what we're trying to do is we're just trying to find that threshold. And so, for example, if we average out our competitors anchor text and we find that the average exact match anchor text is about 10%, we know that we can probably go up to 10% without getting hit by any type of penalty. Now, it's very important, and this is a very, very important point, so make sure you're listening. You have to consider the authority of your website. So if you have a super authoritative website, you're going to be able to get away with more aggressive anchor text. And that's because your domain has more trust, more authority, and Google is not really going to be penalizing a website with a ton of authority. So you're going to be able to be a little more aggressive with your anchor text. But if you have a lower authority website, you should be very careful. So if the average exact match anchor text is around 10%, but you have a low authority website, then you should probably cut that in half and say that that is going to be your safe threshold. And so one thing you can do is you can actually take a look at the top 10 results for the keyword that you want to go after, and then focus on the websites that are closer to your website's authority and see how far they've gone with their exact match anchor text ratios. So it doesn't make sense for you to compare your website that has a lower authority against a website that has higher authority because it's just not going to make sense because the higher authority website is probably going to be able to get away with more. So you need to measure your website against the websites that are in your similar authority range. And so let me show you how this will actually work in practice. So I'm inside Ahrefs and let's say Greatest is my competitor and I'm sticking with the same theme. And let's say that I wanted to rank for the keyword phrase healthy breakfast. So what you can do in Ahrefs, when you're inside the organic keyword section, you can actually just click this SERP button and you're going to be able to see the top 10 results for that keyword. And so right away, there are a few things that you can see here. First of all, there's a featured snippet. So you would know that you need to make sure you optimize your content and page for featured snippets, which you should be doing anyway. But it's still a good idea to do it, especially when you see that Ahrefs is telling you there's a featured snippet. Then you're also going to see that there are four related questions. That's also something that you're going to want to optimize for in your content. And also, you need to consider the fact that since there is a featured snippet and related questions, that your overall organic CTR will probably be lower for this particular keyword phrase. So these are all things that you should be keeping in your mind when you look or analyze a particular set of search results. So let's say your website has a domain rating of 50. So we would look through these top 10 results and try to find those that are closest to your domain rating. So in this case, this is a very competitive keyword phrase because if you look at every single website that is ranking, they are all above a 60 or 65 domain rating. So you would need a very, very strong website to be able to compete for this particular keyword phrase. So in this case, what we want to do is just grab the average exact match anchor text for the first five results. So all you need to do is right next to the competitor's URL, there's this little arrow button. Go ahead and open up, click on the anchor section, open that up in a new tab, and then just open up all of the first five competitors' anchors in a new tab. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is open up a calculator, and you'll understand why in a second. 
So what you want to do once you've opened up all five of the top competitors for your target keyword phrase is open up the anchors for your first competitor. And what you want to do is on the drop down right here for link type, make sure you pick do follow because we really just care about the amount of do follow backlinks they have that have exact match anchor text for that specific phrase. So in this case, it looks like greatest.com and this particular page, they have about 7% exact match anchor text. And so you should look at the referring domains section. You can, of course, look at referring pages, but I prefer to look at the referring domain section. So what you're going to do with your calculator is just go ahead and put seven into the calculator. And I promise this is not going to be a complex equation. So the next thing you want to do is go to the second competitor. And once again, click the link type and make sure that it is do follow. So now scan through their results and see if healthy breakfast is in there. And one other thing you can do is you can actually search for that exact match anchor text. So in this case, we don't see it right away. So you may just want to search for healthy breakfast and see what we can find. So in this case, it looks like this competitor has 0% exact match anchor text. And so one thing that you need to keep in mind when you're analyzing anchor text, you should be taking a lot of this with a grain of salt because we don't know First of all, what these competitors are doing behind the scenes, they could be hiding a private blog network, which would therefore be blocking Ahrefs crawlers. So they could have a ton of anchor text. The second thing to keep in mind is that Ahrefs does not crawl every single backlink that exists on the internet. So you're just looking at the data that Ahrefs has crawled and the data that they have. So it's important not to turn all of this data that's in Ahrefs as a law you need to remember that there should be a little bit of wiggle room when you're doing these type of audits on anchor text or any type of thing that you're doing. So in this case, we don't even need to put anything into the calculator because this person does not have any exact match anchor text. So now let's go to the third result. So in this case, this competitor has about 6% exact match anchor text. So just go into your calculator and do plus six. The fourth competitor has 11% exact match anchor text. And the fifth competitor has 7% exact match anchor text. In this case, we're only doing the first five competitors, but I would go as far as doing the top 10 competitors because then you're going to get a better average of the exact match anchor text that is probably going to be acceptable for this particular keyword phrase. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and divide this number by five. And now what we have is an average exact match anchor text of about 6%. And so now you know that this is the threshold that you should go to for your exact match anchor text if you were to target this particular keyword phrase. If you had a website that did not have the same authority as the results that are here, and you had lower authority, let's say you had a domain rating of 50, well, it would be a good idea to lower this threshold even further because you simply do not have the authority to be as aggressive with anchor text. And so one last thing you can do outside of just analyzing exact match anchor text is you can actually go back through and see what percentage of anchor text they have that actually includes the keyword phrase in it. And so I just like to focus on the exact match anchor text because that's usually the one that has the highest impact. But a lot of these partial match anchor texts are going to have a big impact as well. So it is a good idea to go back through and see what that percentage is as well. But as a general rule of thumb, the best thing that you can do is try to get as far as you can for your target keyword, go as far up the rankings as you can without using any exact match anchor texts or at least as minimal amount of exact match anchor text as you can, because incorrectly using exact match anchor text or getting too aggressive with keyword rich anchors can cause a penalty if you get out of control. So that's why it's important, first of all, to find what that threshold is for that particular keyword phrase. And then you should try to underperform that threshold just so you stay on the safe site so I've been preaching for a very long time that your exact match anchor text should be around the 1% range, at the most 5%. But as I've said many, many times, that's going to depend on the total quantity of backlinks that you have. Exact match anchor text of 1% with only 10 links is not a big deal, or even 1% with 50 links is still not a big deal. But if you have 1% exact match anchor text with 10,000 links, 
then you could run into some trouble. So it's all about the scale and the quantity of backlinks that you have that's going to determine whether that's too aggressive or not. In general, if you have a lower quantity of backlinks, there is a chance that your exact match anchor text may be a little bit higher, but it won't carry a lot of risk. But in general, try to avoid exceeding what people are doing in your industry. And for me personally, I usually cut whatever the average is in half, and then I use that as my target. And then if I'm not seeing the results that I want, then I can start to get a little more aggressive, try to push the envelope a little bit more if necessary. But if you can rank without using any exact match anchor text, that is the best situation. So just make sure you go through this process every single time that you want to target a keyword to make sure that you know exactly what you're up against and so that you're making calculated moves when you're trying to rank in Google. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it helped you understand how to optimize your anchor text when you are trying to rank in Google and trying to acquire links in a safe and natural way. So if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe because I'm gonna be putting out videos like this all the time, showing you real practical SEO advice that you can literally take and implement on your SEO campaign or with within your business and start seeing more organic search traffic as soon as possible. So I really enjoy making these videos for you. And so when you do give it a big thumbs up, that helps me understand what you guys actually like so I can create better videos for you. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.